So I have a friend that uh, owns a company. Well, he just started this company and he had called me and said, hey Elliot, you know, I've, I've got this product that I wanna get out to people. Can we put one on your truck and show the people of your good channel what we're making and how it can benefit them? It's actually a product that I would love to use and I think you guys might like it too. The pro well, this is the back side of it, but the product is, uh, it's a backup camera cleaner. Now, it's made by Clearview. That's the name of their company right there, Clearview. And Andrew's actually gonna be here in a couple minutes to help me put it in the truck. All right, well, you guys know me, I'm Elliot. This is? Andrew. And? Andrew. Two Andrews in one place, isn't that crazy? All right, so these guys are the owners of the Clearview I just showed you. We actually have the kit right here in front of you. And uh, we're going to be installing it on my 2017 F350 today. I'm told it's what, 30, 30 minutes? 30 minutes to an hour probably, you know. Yes. Yeah, pretty easy. I believe we are going to rack my truck and put it up on the lift just to show you guys how the install goes. Let it be known, you do not need a lift to install this. You can do it on the ground, you won't be on the ground long. The only reason we're going to rack my truck is to actually give you guys an underside view of how it does install. And at that point, we'll explain everything. We're gonna go through, give you guys a nice uh, full install video. So if you're curious of how hard it could be, we'll show you every step. And at the end of all this, we'll tell you how long it took. Oh, there she is. Okay, so this actually is a T25. Oh, I'm, with, I'm sure it is, but with the bed with liner. With the bed liner, okay. <laughs> yeah. On there, two more. Okay, so then this should just lift out. All right, what do we got going on in here? We got a hinge. The camera should be up here though, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so this whole trim piece is gonna come out and then that'll expose the inner workings. Yeah. So trim piece comes out first and then we disconnect stuff? Um, it's, you try and disconnect before removing anything, but okay. sometimes you have to kind of separate it to get to the plugs. Okay. So for this one, let's see what we're looking at here. You got a light? I do have a light. Yeah, I think, I think those were the, yeah. are the access uh, holes Points. for the 10 mils. Okay. And then I think this, for this truck, is the only linkage you have to remove. Yeah, because that's the one that the handle actuates. Yes. It's, it's right here. It would be right here. One, two, three, four. Yep. Okay. Okay. Yeah, because this one's so young. Yeah. Be like two two white clips on each side of the uh there's like little grommets here yes yeah, so right here. Oh, okay yep we got that right so there. this one right here yep so you got that one and one on the other side there's two in the center that are easy and then one over here and the only thing that really should be hooking us up is this arm linkage here which we should be able to get out okay yeah That's pretty easy. All right. So now we can disconnect all the electrical components. I would say you probably be. S yeah, you can you can get it out of the way. That's fine. Okay. Nice. So that's so everything is disconnected. All right. And you want to work on the tailgate? Uh, we usually do, or we can go to a bench. You want to go to the workbench? Yeah, sure. Let's go to the workbench. We got the, I don't know, trim piece off, whatever you want to call it. This is the camera that's right here. Mm -hmm. 
And we gotta open up our uh, pack, don't we? Let's crack open the kit. So, obviously a whole bunch of rubber hose. We don't really need that right now, so we'll set that aside. And it looks like we got a pack here. Couple zip strips, looks like the actual, This is so this is the actual sprayer itself. A T goes under the hood. Zip strips. I imagine this is the check valve. Correct. And, and uh, that's your drill template. This is a drill template. Okay. Very critical for uh, placement. All right. So drill template. Don't lose this. I assume the nut goes on the back of the sprayer. Correct. Like so. Mm. Once it's uh, installed in there, wherever it goes. All right. So and there's also a uh, little QR code here. What's this uh, QR code thing do? So that is essentially your instructions. So if you notice, there's two QR codes um, very clearly. One says truck install, one says SUV slash hatchback, I believe. Right? Yep. Um, so obviously we're going to go with the truck install. So, no, we don't want that one. We want that one. You can't really see what I'm doing. There we go. Go to clear view cam. Yep, so this opens up right to our truck installation page. So right off the bat, at the very top, um, we have a five minute video on how to install. So that is basically gonna go through all the steps that we're following right now. Um, so sort of a video within a video. Um, but this is the most important part and that is the drill template reference button. Right, we'll click on it. Yep. All right, let's see here. Uh, Dodge Ram, Dodge Ram, Chevy Silverado, Ford F-150, Ford F-150, aha, Ford F-250. Okay, we'll click on, oh, does it make it bigger? Oh, I guess we can do that. Yeah. All right, so that, that looks pretty familiar to me. We got that piece right here. So essentially what we do is you're just going to go something like that? Yes. Right there. Um, if, it's, if it's off, you'll, you'll know. It kind of only wants to sit uh, in one spot. So you basically then, just line it up at the top and then slide it over till it stops. Correct. Yeah. Simple enough. Yeah. And then this is the pilot hole? Correct. Okay. So once you have that in position, um, you'll take a Sharpie and make a little mark right there, and that's where you're going to drill the hole for the sprayer. That sounds super simple. What's on the background? All right, so we did have to remove the electrical connection that's in there. You guys can see that one right there. So make sure you remove that. But it seems pretty simple. I think we're going to jump right into it. So we were just discussing off camera about removing this actual camera. In my specific case, I don't need to. Like if you look, it's it's probably two inches away from the actual camera head. And we'll flip on the inside here. The camera head is right here. Two inches is way over here. Uh, but they said on some of these, it might be wise to remove this camera, which in my case, it's just another T, I don't know, that's probably a T15, little small guy. All right, so line it up with the top. Slide it over till it stops. Seems pretty lined up to me. Let's see if we can get this mark in here. Look at that. All right. This is a step bit, and you guys recommend this? Yeah, absolutely. All right. So, what does it need to be drilled out to if you don't have a step bit? Uh, I believe eleven thirty seconds. Or five sixteenths. Yeah. All right. So it needs. If you don't have a step bit, grab yourself a five sixteenths and hog this thing out. But we have a step bit, that's usually always easier, and that's what we're gonna use. That's it, holes in. All right, what do we do next? Do we actually put the sprayer in? Yeah, and then we can go, go ahead and install the sprayer. Looks to be pretty simple. So there's the nut on the back there. And that just needs to be tightened down. So that looks to be what, 12 mil? Uh, it's actually half inch. Half inch, wow. Yeah, All yeah. All American. It, yeah. It... All American. <laughs> I can appreciate that. Yeah, one, one takes a 10 mil for the most part on the truck and then this is half inch. All right, so we'll grab a half inch and we'll uh, just tighten that down. Now, do we have torque specs? We should. We don't, though. I don't yes. even use torque specs, so don't even worry about it. Uh, Listen, we're trying to install cameras. These guys are talking about chicken wings. This is the working helmet. 
spice I don't even, yeah, I, you know what? It, it doesn't take much. It's all nylon, so I'm gonna leave it. I've tightened it up already, and let's see if I can just move it by hand here. I mean, it's already, it's already you, aimed at it. I can't. <clears throat> Does that look aimed? Uh, it might want to go up just a tad. If you have a, I know for a fact if you have a half inch uh, crescent wrench, yeah, like that. It, it, will, it will adjust. Yeah. And what I was getting at with the... Uh, oh, that looks no. about... Now, now I'm too far? No, no, no. I, I was oh. saying uh, to get into the shot. All right. That looks pretty good there. That looks good? So mm -hmm. I just hooked a wrench on there, just give her, give her a one-two. Yeah. All right. So now, back to the truck. Are we done here? We are. We're done here. That's all the bench work. So we might want to actually talk about um, the subtle difference you're going to... Uh, implement here because you remove your tailgate. Yeah, so I actually brought that up to these guys when they came over. Uh, I do remove my tailgate and had asked them if they put any connection point in here for removing the tailgate. And honestly, I guess I was the first person ever asked that. Uh, so it's gonna be a little bit different and they had explained it to me. You know, obviously you've got your, your nipple here for the sprayer and they said they usually put six inches of hose it and then the check valve. I'm not going to do that because I need to be different and remove my tailgate. If you don't remove your tailgate, follow the video. If you do remove your tailgate, do what I'm doing. Put the check valve in the tailgate housing or crack, and then you'll be able to just pull the hose off and keep it that way. Mm -hmm. But yeah. I just wanted a solution to be able to take off my tailgate. I mean, I do it maybe once a year, but that's enough that this would become a pain if I didn't have that. But for typical installs, we say cut a six inch section of the hose, that's 25 feet, um, and connect it right to your sprayer prior to installing this back onto your truck and install the check valve right onto that six inch section. So um, you have something to work with kind of yeah. thing. Yeah, and okay. it, it just makes it easier so you're not reaching in here trying to Try connect to the check happen. valve. So uh, there is a big hole in here where the wire loom comes through and we're going to try to fish that through, which is going to prove to be difficult, I believe. Oh wait, there it is. Voila. Ta -da. So is there any specific way that you guys like this routed? Yeah. Um, not specific, but obviously... Um, Keep it out of the way of things. Yeah, yeah you're not going to want to put it anywhere where it's going to get pinched by the linkage yeah. uh, for your tailgate. So we're going to keep it below everything. Yeah. Which is just like that. Alright, so we got we got plenty hanging out. Yeah. Yeah, so the hose right here, this will hook onto the nipple. I'm going to hook all these electrical connections back in, and we're going to be on our way. Now these all these are all pressure fittings, right? Yeah, barb. Yep. Okay, so there's the actual hose. Let's get the electrical connected. I probably should have put this electrical on the correct side before I put the hose together. Are you kidding me? Oh, it's right here. Let's start with the easy ones, huh? Okay. That should be back in. Now we should be able to move on. Yeah. All right, so all we've done is we've racked the truck. It's up in the air now, and all I did was feed that hose line through, and you can see it. I know it won't focus on it, but it's got a little bit of dirt on it right there, center of your screen. We're just going to pull that down, get it down here so we can work on it. So we got a ton of floor now, and we need to install the check valve, and then just route it, right? 
Mm -hmm. It seems pretty simple. So there's your OEM line. Yeah, right here. And we'll just throw the T in it. It'll go straight down, follow the inside of the wheel well into the frame. Yep. And we're gonna fish it through the frame to keep it as best protected as we can. All right. So here's where probably one of the most important recommended tools comes into play. This guy. Fish tape. Well, we gotta do the check valve first, right? We... Or should we just leave a little loop, snip it, do the check valve? Because I know you wanna put, I know you wanna put the check valve way up there, but for ease of access, I think we should put it like right here. We could do that. And that's actually lower than the tailgate anyway. So it's not gonna siphon anything if it hits a check valve there and then nothing will come out there because it's still gotta go up to get to the tailgate. Yeah. Make sense? Yeah, so just, I don't know if we explained it, but the purpose of the check valve is to prevent siphoning. Yeah, because the tailgate is naturally lower than the fill yeah. in under the hood. So if you were to lower the tailgate, it then becomes lower than the, the tank and will just naturally, gravity takes over. So the fish tape, I mean, obviously you don't need the fish tape, right? No. You, could, you could just zip tie it to the frame. Yeah, yes, frame, that's correct. We're just, we're just doing it the, what do you want to call this, the professional way? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. What do we got going on back here? Hey, there's your fish tape. You're on my bumper. <clears throat> Probably right here would be the best place to see. Oh, can you see it from in there? Yeah. Yeah. Or up here. Okay, so there's the fish tape. Yeah, so there's the end of the fish tape right there. Yeah. So the next step is to uh, tape the end of that hose right to the fish tape. All right, so what are we doing here? We're taping. Just fish tape, we're just taping the um, tube to the fish tape and then hope that I do a good enough job that it doesn't come off inside the frame. Nice and easy to start, so I can get you up where you need to be. So I'm just kind of feeding it as Andrew's pulling it over there. It's a rain in oil. I do like some rain in oil. Nothing yet. Really? Oh, she popped out the hole. Uh, should we do this? Should we do the check valve now while it's still up in the air? Because once we, all we need to do under here left is check um, valve, right? Yeah. So there's. Is there an arrow on this? Yes, there is, and oh, okay. uh, that's what I was going to get the sharp before to color it in. So for ease of camera, I have taken a marker and colored in the arrow, and the arrow goes towards the sprayer? Correct. Towards the sprayer. So, pretty simple. Like that. Okay, check valves in. So there's a good Yeah, you can see the arrow right there too. Yep, of where it needs to go. And like we said, we only put this here because I wanna take my tailgate off. Otherwise, you'd put it right, right by the sprayer. All right, so we're done under here, and uh, we'll set the truck down. Well, let's feed that up to wherever it needs to go first, or at least in the general vicinity. Yep. Oh, I see. You see it? it? Yep. Aha. There she is. It's a boy. It's a boy. Sure. <laughs> All right, last step here. So just snip it's, and yeah. And insert, huh? Snip and insert. Doesn't really matter where, right? Just somewhere in the center I can get the T to? Yes, yeah. sir. Beautiful. Okay, there's one. You know I'm leaving this all on camera, right? <laughs> no editing. No editing. Full length. That's it, right? That's it, man. That's it. That's it. Simple.
about 45 minutes and we were really taking our time taking with the our video. time putting the truck up taking it down doing filming moving cameras and stuff but that's it so i'm gonna clean up my hands and we'll try it oh wait we gotta put the tailgate back together Oh yeah, what are to these you, for? To, well, to use where you please, but uh, we recommend putting one here okay. um, to zip tie the hose to the wire loom. Okay, we mm -hmm. can do that. And then uh, we usually uh, put one around where the reservoir is, um, okay. like in between where it goes into the frame so up the, front. Yeah, to the wire loom that I was kind of talking about earlier. Yeah. Okay. Not tight enough that you want to pinch the Correct. line off though. That would not be good. And obviously, if you're going to go the route of not routing the line through the frame and just zip tying it along the frame or to some other sort of hard point under the truck, you're going to need more zip yeah, ties than we Y O Z, bring your own zip ties. Yeah. They tend to be... You can get like a pack of 100 <laughs> at Harbor Freight yeah. for a dollar. And they're black. All right. Tools are cleaned up. I think you have my socket. This... Okay, these two. One of these is yours, one of these. This is a half inch. I did not, wait, did I pull a deep half inch out? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the only thing that's mine. Okay, so, stealing tools. Uh, wow. So now, essentially, when I hit my wiper squeegee, wiper, I don't know, what do, what do you call it? Wiper? Uh, wiper washer fluid. Yeah, washer button. fluid. Yeah. yeah. That's the word I'm looking for. The washer it's fluid button. Here. I imagine it's going to take a couple seconds to prime. Correct. All the way back here. Yes. All right. Um, I'm going to wipe my hands off, get in my truck, hit the button, and you guys can see the switch come out. So, let's see if we can see. Squirts are going to go on, and then eventually. There you go. See how it just got moist and it cleaned right off? You know what? This bump works. That is pretty cool. As fast as you can, like it doesn't take much. Looks good. I mean, it looked great on you were, you. You were spraying the f*** out of it. Really? Yeah. So we are finished installing. Uh, like I had said, about 45 minutes. We tested it out. Uh, we're going to throw in some still shots for you. And you can take a look at what it looks like while it's actually working. And not just on camera. I mean, the still shots that you brought that camera. What a nice camera. I mean, it looks great. We'll show you those. 45 minutes. Super simple. Don't need a lift. The only reason we use the lift is to show you guys how to fish it through and how to do everything. But you could easily do this on the ground, there's no doubt about that, especially if you're just gonna zip strip it to the side of the frame. Uh, fishing it through the frame obviously is a more professional way to do it, but it's, it doesn't need to be done that way. Do you guys have any other things that you wanna, oh, how can I find it? Uh, I mean, so, besides the link in the description, yes. like what else do you guys, you got Facebook, do you have Instagram, do you have YouTube, what do you guys got? Yeah, so we actually do sell um, our product on Instagram, um, so we have all our kits on there, um, directly on our website, clearviewcam.com, and uh, we're setting up Amazon, so we're going to have a shop on Amazon you can purchase it at. Um, so yeah, so I know there are, I do have a lot of local followers, so um, we had discussed this earlier. They do offer install for, obviously for a charge, they don't do it for free. Nobody works for free these days, and that's fine. But if you guys are local to us in the Western New York area, and it is something you're interested in having on your vehicle, make sure you check out their website. I'm sure you have a contact us button or something yes. there. You can drop them a line and, and let them know you're interested in it. Yeah, um, we have a tab, um, schedule installation. It's right there, Just fill out your information, and we'll reach out to you, and um, we'll come to your shop, um, you can come to us, uh, whatever you want to do, yeah. So again, the link's going to be down in the description for you guys to take right to their website. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns about anything we did in this video, if you want to know more about it, 
I'll do my best to answer those questions. If I can't answer it, I'll ask them and I'll answer with their answer. So, uh, anything else, guys? Thanks for watching. Yeah. yeah, oh, sure. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button and I'll catch you guys on the next one.